and you have three people standing up right. and you don't have thousands standing up. Right. 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 Amen. I am not an anomaly. I am a Baptist preacher right. that is just preaching the Bible Amen. and if it offends right. society, then it's going to offend society. But if all of these other pastors would grow a spine whenever the music starts playing and would stand up just like I'm standing up, guess what? What would Nebuchadnezzar do? But they're not, are they? Nope. And maybe they're not worshiping the image, but guess what? They're on their knees, they're on their faces, aren't they? Right. Huh? Right. Why? Because they're scared. They're scared of the media sitting in there. I'm not scared of the media. These are nice people. You know, we talked before the service. I'm not scared of these people. They're nice people. They have a job to do. Who cares? Big deal. You think I'm scared? You think that I'm scared or worried about all of the text messages, all of the, the, the comments, all of the uh, uh, phone calls, all of the voicemails? Do you think that I am afraid of those things? And that's why that these other Baptist pastors that believe exactly the way I believe are down on their faces whenever the music started. Because they're like, man, I don't, want, I don't want to get thrown in that fiery furnace. And guess what? Whenever they're, about, they're down there, placating, weak, spineless, on their faces, whenever they're down there, it, it just makes Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego just stand that much taller, doesn't it? Right, right, the, see, the world looks at it and they're like, oh, there's Pastor Fritz, there, there's that lone wolf. There's Pastor Fritz, that, that, that one guy, that one Baptist pastor that's just a lunatic, that's just crazy. Guess what? There's a lot of people that believe exactly like I believe. Right. Amen. I mean, for a fact. Amen. There's nothing that I didn't preach that's not been preached for a long time by countless other preachers. It's just the problem is now is this the music started playing and all of my Baptist brethren have put their head in the sand. Why? Because they don't want the media sitting in here. Why? Because they don't want to pull up in their minivan at their church and have cameras put in their face and they don't want people to comment on their YouTube and they don't want the, face, the Facebook messages. They don't want the voicemails. So guess what? They bow down when the music starts because they don't want all that. They're weak. They're spineless. And you know what? Hey, if the Bible says it, you need to say it. You need to preach Amen. it as a preacher. And if it doesn't say it, then don't say it. I mean, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to get on some sort of political platform. I'm trying to preach the entire counsel of God right. from Genesis 1-1 to Revelation 22. Amen. The whole counsel of God, right. in season, out of season, whether it's popular or whether it's not popular. See, these other pastors, these other pastors that have gotten on their face before the image, you know what? It's just the love of God, the love of God, the love of God. And you know what? Hey, God is love, the Bible said. Hey, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, right? God sent Christ to die for humanity. But guess what? Just as much God loves, God hates. Right. Amen. You know, the Bible says that. It's very clear. But you don't read the Bible, you know? You, you, don't, believe, you don't read the Bible because all you want to do is watch football and, and, and play, uh, what, what, is that, what is that game? I can't even think of the game where they throw the little hacky sack. Somebody help me out. Where they throw the hacky sack into, uh, into the little hole. Cornhole. Cornhole. So all you want to do is drink, uh, play cornhole and drink Budweiser and, and, and watch your stupid football games or your dumb TV shows. That's all you want to do. And these pastors, you know why they're on their face? Why? Because they have campers and they like their campers. They have vacations and they like their vacations. And if they preached, if they had the stones in the spine to preach what I preached, half their congregation would get up and walk out. Right. Oh man, what am I going to do for money now, huh? Because that's all they care about, the love of money. That's all they care about. They don't give a rip what goes on in their congregation. They're not going to tell you not to drink because you know what? Daddy Warbucks that throws a lot of money in the plate might be an alcoholic or he might be a closet drinker and, and, and God forbid you offend him with the Bible and he get up and walk out and you lose all that tithe money. Because that's all they care about is money. I don't care about your money. You get up and you, every one of you walk out of here right now and God will provide for my needs. Right. I will get out and I will work six days, seven days by the sweat of my brow. God said that I have never seen the righteous forsaken right. nor his seed begging bread. So you right. think that I need a job? You think that I need this job security? You think I'm just going to skimp on the word of God because I'm like, you know what? Oh, I might get fired from my job. Big deal. Right. 